This week was a special one for India's space adventure. Group captain Subhanshu Shukla returned safely to Earth on Tuesday, marking the successful conclusion of a groundbreaking mission to the International Space Station. He was part of the four-member Axiom 4 crew aboard SpaceX Dragon Capsule Grace, which splashed down in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of California. The capsule's safe landing followed a fiery re-entry and about 22-hour return journey from the orbit. Prime Minister Narendra Modi hailed the mission as a historic milestone. The Axiom 4 mission has successfully concluded with the return of ISRO Gaganyatri Subhanshu Shukla, marking a proud moment both for ISRO and India as he returned after a historic 18-day scientific mission aboard the International Space Station. The mission was conducted in collaboration with NASA, Axiom Space, ESA, ISRO and other international partners. Earlier on 25th June, the mission successfully launched from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida using SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Subhanshu Shukla, a pilot in the Indian Air Force, was part of the Axiom Mission 4 along with three others. Mission Commander and former NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson, Polish ESA astronaut Slavoz uzanski Winowski, and Hungarian payload specialist Tibor Kapu. Talking at the International Space Station, Shubhanshu Shukla became the first Indian to reach the ISS. While on the International Space Station, Subhanshu Shukla worked in close partnership with members of the Axiom 4 crew and also Expedition 73, contributing to the daily rhythm of ISS operations and supporting joint science, maintenance and outreach efforts. He completed a suite of very critical experiments aimed at enhancing understanding of human spaceflight and microgravity science. The experiments were related to the growth and radiation response of edible algae in the space, meiogenesis or muscle regeneration with supplement treatment in space, also microgravity growth of sprouts like methi and moong, resilience and aging patterns of microscopic organisms like tardigrades, cognitive testing with in-flight user interface displays, and comparative growth of cyanobacteria and proteomics. This is the impact of microgravity on seed physiology that was also studied. Now, all experiments were completed successfully and samples have been returned for detailed post-flight analysis Gaganyatri Subhanshu Shukla participated in a historic live interaction with Prime Minister Narendra Modi from aboard the International Space Station. During the conversation, Prime Minister commended Shukla's contribution to India's space journey. You are today भारतवासियों के दिलों के सबसे करीब है आपके नाम में भी शुभ है और आपकी यात्रा नए युग का शुभ आरंभ भी है इस समय बात हम दोनों कर रहे हैं लेकिन मेरे साथ 140 करोड़ भारतवासियों की भावनाएं भी हैं मेरी आवाज में सभी भारतीयों का उत्साह और उमंग शामिल है अंतरिक्ष में भारत का परचम लहराने के लिए मैं आपको हार्दिक बधाई और शुभकामनाएं देता हूं मैं ज्यादा समय नहीं ले रहा हूं तो सबसे पहले तो यह बताइए वहां सब कुशल मंगल है आपकी तबीयत ठीक है जी प्रधानमंत्री जी बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद आपके विशेष का और 140 करोड़ मेरे देशवासियों के विशेष का मैं यहां बिल्कुल ठीक हूं सुरक्षित हूं आप सबके आशीर्वाद और प्यार की वजह से बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है बहुत नया एक्सपीरियंस है यह और कहीं ना कहीं बहुत सारी चीजें ऐसी हो रही हैं जो दर्शाती हैं कि 
मैं और मेरे जैसे बहुत सारे लोग हमारे देश में और हमारा भारत किस दिशा में जा रहा है ये जो मेरी यात्रा है ये पृथ्वी से ऑर्बिट की 400 किलोमीटर तक की जो छोटी सी यात्रा है ये सिर्फ मेरी नहीं है मुझे लगता है कहीं ना कहीं हमारे देश की भी यात्रा है बिकॉज जब मैं छोटा था मैं कभी सोच नहीं पाया कि मैं एस्ट्रोनॉट बन सकता हूँ लेकिन मुझे लगता है आपके नेतृत्व में आज का भारत ये मौका देता है और उन सपनों को साकार करने का भी मौका देता है तो ये बहुत बड़ी उपलब्धि है मेरे लिए और मैं बहुत गर्व फील कर रहा हूँ कि मैं यहाँ पे अपने देश का प्रतिनिधित्व कर पा रहा हूँ and as the mission came to a close a special farewell ceremony for the x4 crew was conducted aboard the iss expedition 73 crew members and mission control teams express appreciation for the collaborative efforts and mark the occasion with special symbolic gestures of international friendship including commemorative mission patches and final photographs in the harmony module so peggy TB Shooks and Swab we really enjoyed your company and thank you so much for bringing a lot of joy excitement inspiration and other positive ways to make our experience here even better and your dedication to science and your professionalism definitely marked a new standard for the private astronaut missions and we hope that you guys enjoyed your time being here and we also hope that uh, the time you spent here will become uh, unforgettable mo moments in your lives we really enjoyed ourselves up here it was an amazing experience it's always great to work with a bunch of professionals which you are but it's even more special to work with folks that have become our friends <laughs> even more deeply and we um, really appreciate the fact that uh, the camaraderie and the teaching that you guys offered to the crew was really exceptional it has been an incredible journey uh, i did not imagine all this when i started on falcon 9 on 25th and i think uh, it has been made amazing or uh, incredible because of the people who are involved uh, the, the team that is standing behind me uh, you guys have made it really special for us being here on the station and it was an incredible joy to be here and working alongside with a bunch of professionals like you Uh, over the past two and a half weeks or so, we have done a lot of science on the station. We have done uh, outreach activities and also look back at the Earth. <laughs> Whatever time we found, we were always looking out the window, and um, it it has it almost seems uh, magical to me. And I would like to uh, take this opportunity to thank my country and all their citizens for supporting this mission and me with all their hearts. And um, I would like to thank Gistro for making this happen. All the colleagues at Gistro who have worked tirelessly uh, in developing all the protocols, the science, and the outreach activities. The researchers back in India, the students who developed the uh, outreach items that I carried. I would also like to thank NASA and its international partners, Axiom Space, SpaceX, for ensuring that we were trained adequately, well, and providing all the support round the clock, and all the people who were sitting on ground supporting this mission, making it. It's extremely successful. Following the ceremony, the crew proceeded with the hatch closure, the vehicle ingress, and the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft undocked from ISS later on 14 July, beginning its return journey to Earth. After an Earth-orbiting free flight lasting nearly 22 hours and 30 minutes, the splashdown of Dragon occurred successfully on July 15th in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of California. The capsule was recovered promptly by SpaceX's recovery teams. Subhanshu Shukla and other crew members were extracted in stable condition. And Gagan Yatri Subhanshu Shukla is now undergoing a structured post-mission medical evaluation recovery protocol under supervision of Axiom Space and ISRO flight surgeons. This program includes cardiovascular assessment, a musculoskeletal test, psychological debriefs aimed at ensuring a full psychological recovery and data capture for future missions now what made this mission historic for india was also how group captain shubhanshu shukla takes forward the legacy of wing commander rakesh sharma rakesh sharma was the first indian to travel to space on 3rd april 1984 he and two cosmonauts from soviet union flew on board soyuz t11 to space station salyut 7 over four decades later 
and Indian was in space once again. Now back on Earth, Subhanshu Shukla shared a series of emotional reunion photographs on Instagram, showing him embracing his wife and young son, saying, felt like home, he wrote, capturing the joy and vulnerability of finally holding his loved ones after weeks of isolation. So how does Captain Subhanshu Shukla's mission pave the road ahead for India's space program? First, Gaganyaan mission. The experience gained from Axim-4 mission, including training, experiment, execution, international collaboration, will strengthen ISRO's preparations for Gaganyaan mission. The mission, remember, involves over 500 micro, small and medium enterprises, fostering a domestic space tech ecosystem. Also, second, a microgravity research ecosystem. The seven ISRO experiments conducted during Axe 4 are expected to nurture advanced microgravity research in India, supporting disciplines like biomedical science, material science and space technology. The long-term ambitions, India aims to establish a space station by 2035 and send an astronaut to the moon by 2040. The mission is a foundational step, providing operational data and international partnerships to support these goals. The government targets 8% share of the global space market by 2033, with a projected space economy of some $44 billion. And commercial spaceflight, India's participation in Axe 4 reflects a strategic shift towards leveraging commercial space services as NASA no longer conducts government-sponsored foreign astronaut missions. This approach may continue with ISRO collaborating with private entities like Axiom Space and SpaceX.